How's it going today, YouTube? We have a beautiful set here for you today. Something very new. I think you're really gonna like it. We have the UNSC Wasp Onslaught. It was about half a week ago that I had actually heard about this being released in Canada, and I had ventured my way down to the local Toys R Us, and I had actually found two. So I'm going to build this one on camera, but I've taken the liberty of getting the figures out. Blue grunt. <laughs> He is just a warrior, grunty boy. Going to have to get Simon to put his new name here, and that shall forever be his name. The second is one that everybody's been wanting, but I was a little disappointed with. UNSC female marine with long straight hair, but it really does look like the big hero six shaggy haired guy, so. That's awesome. Next is something everybody's upset about, but I'm actually really happy about this. Chief. Beauty. Look at that chief. He's like a lime olive kind of green. The man with the plan. He's got like the same as the hero does. We've got this beauty right here for you. Designs all over him. In my opinion, he's better than the hunter from the pelican inbound. And I'll even compare. This one looks more like a cleaner, but this one just looks banished. Just all around better. Now let's get into the fast build. Here we go. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a beautiful build. One thing I forgot to mention about the figure is that the plastic waist piece has actually been replaced with a rubberized, and uh, I can't really give you an example, but it is now rubberized, less likely to break, I imagine. Turret has two phases, which you had seen in the video. You can take off the shields. I mean, I prefer the shields on it. The Wasp itself is a fairly simple build compared to the other. It is smaller in scale, but it doesn't lack details. And what this has is back and forth motion, sure. This has brand new pieces that were just in introduced I'd imagine and they actually grant you full mobility rotors which is sick I find like you could flip them all the way upside down it's because of the groove that this circle has you can of course lift up and down which you can't do with this something about this I really really like you can't do what you do here and move these up and down but you can see these fall off I think this is beautiful this has been sitting on the shelf but even as it came it wasn't that clear this is like crystal I almost don't want to touch it so that I can keep it pristine you know what at first i thought i'm gonna like this one way more just the simplicity of this build here and how amazing it is with that fact i, I gotta say this one takes the cake for me and uh, you guys don't really have to agree this uses a lot of old pieces that we haven't seen for a while such as these curved slopes you can actually even see just the difference in some of these blocks at the bottom we haven't seen for a while the crosses it's because they're reusing old blocks which i really really like i mean it's shown that they're recycling their old pieces this hunter to me is a little better here. This one's still beautiful though. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.